Today we're reviewing Rudolf Steiner's book, The Kingdom of Childhood. This is a volume in the series, The Foundations of Waldorf Education, published by Steiner Books, and it's subtitled Introductory Talks on Waldorf Education. So a little bit of background on where this book came from. Uh, these are lectures given in 1924. There's uh, seven of them in total, plus a question and answer session. And these uh, lectures were given in England. They were given in German and translated into English, of course, but the original audience were people in England. And very specifically, there was, in 1924, a large uh, conference of Steiner's followers in, in uh, Western England. And there was another series of main lectures about initiation and consciousness that Rudolf Steiner gave to uh, a very large audience of hundreds. But there was also at this point in 1924 an initiative to open a Waldorf school in England. And so these lectures, The Kingdom of Childhood, were given to a very small group. And uh, the recollections of the person involved said there were actually five individuals to whom these lectures were primarily directed, uh, a couple of other people in the room, including a stenographer, of course. But these five individuals had dedicated themselves to opening a school in England that would be uh, run on Waldorf methods. And they did, indeed, open a uh, the first Waldorf school in England uh, a year later. Um, and so Steiner was giving them this series of lectures on education, at this point in 1924, the original, the first Waldorf school, the original one in southern Germany, had been open and operating for five years, had gone from 200 students to 1,000, had added kindergarten and uh, high school. And so Waldorf education was established in the world. Um, and here, uh, Steiner's aim was to help Waldorf education grow and to inspire a small group of people in England to open their own Waldorf school. So he lectured in, in German, and the results here are this book, The Kingdom of Childhood. Now, a lot of people like to um, give this book, The Kingdom of Childhood, to people somewhat new to Waldorf education because it serves as a very um, condensed and concise explanation of what Waldorf schools are up to in Steiner's own words. Again, he was trying to motivate a, a small group of people to start a Waldorf school of their own in England, and so he kind of goes over the full breadth of what Waldorf education is about, but in an, an introductory way, um, not for people who'd been involved in the schools for years or for the, in the intensive way that he did over in the two weeks of teacher training leading up to the opening of the first Waldorf school. But here it's a, um, a comprehensive view of what all Waldorf education is about in six very, or sorry, seven very concise lectures and a comprehensive question and answer session. And then as somebody involved in Waldorf education, I personally find the question and answer session really fascinating. For example, um, somebody asks how uh, gymnastics and other sports should be done in an English school. And so you get to the uh, some of the cultural differences between the Anglo-American world and the relation of sports, for example, and the uh, European world and the relation of sports. And so I always appreciated Steiner's answer, which included the uh, sentence, uh, we must not make our children strangers to their own culture. So his idea was very much against forming a German school in England. He wanted the English Waldorf students to be connected with their own culture. And so he felt that soccer was appropriate for them. And uh, it's interesting, again, to see how his uh, guide, how his mind worked and how he wanted to connect his initiatives in a very practical and real way to the world in which they were embedded. Uh, his idea was not to create, to recreate society, to create a um, completely separate society that was unrecognizable and different and perfect and utopian. Um, he wanted to work within the larger society and uh, when it came to education, again, his aim was not to create uh, an entire generation of 
blind followers or even followers of any type. He wanted to do right by each child and help each one reach their own potential in the cultural context and the biographical context of the world they were born into, not in some sort of separate compound off on the side where everything's done pure and perfectly. And so you get that out of the question and answer session. So a very good book, Kingdom of Childhood, for uh, introductory uh, re readers for education. Um, very good book for a nice refresher or for anybody who needs to present what is Waldorf to different communities. A very good background resource for that. And also a very interesting uh, question and answer session if you want to understand Steiner's approach to um, meeting the real world, meeting the contemporary world back then, and hopefully as a guide for how we would do that today.